Hi, darlings. I hope you're all all right and keeping safe and taking care of yourselves. I just wanted to come on uh, to do a quick ramble about um, Kind of Good, Kind of Beck's uh, second moving video that she'd done. I'm a bit behind, so I've had to do a little bit of catching up today. And I noticed that she'd done the second part. And I thought I'd come on and have a quick ramble because she was looking ever so, ever so bright, ever so cheery. Um, she'd been working hard, I know that. She'd been getting some exercise, I tell you, because she'd been moving stuff about and arranging a room and getting herself together. She looked really well, actually. And uh, I thought that she looked like she'd lost a little bit of weight. Her face looked slimmer. She didn't look so bloated. And usually when you uh, start losing weight at first, it is through your face, isn't it? Yeah, she was looking really well and she was getting out and about. And uh, she did a lovely little thing sort of in the halfway through the video. She did a little bit of a spooky story telling um, this uh, video, this little segment she did, was about um, this chapel. I can't remember where she said it was. And the one of the reverends that uh, used to preach there, Reverend Powell, and uh, apparently this chap had come and he started to build up his, um, his or not, or they don't call it an audience, do they? What do they call it? Congregation, yes. And uh, it turned a little bit and apparently there were stories of human sacrifices and all sorts of weird and wonderful stuff. And um, this chapel is apparently haunted. You'll have to go and have a look. I mean, I don't want to give the story away because Becky's telling the story. It's part of her video. But it was really, really interesting. And I had to laugh to myself. I thought, you know, that Babby's put more work into this bloody channel so far than Amberlynn has in months and months and months and months, if not years. It was really, really interesting. So she's obviously getting out and about and she's got some a little bit of footage about some, I don't know if they were horses or ponies. I'm not an equestrian, so, you know. Last time I got on a horse, I was very quickly off the horse and I fractured my coccyx, but that's another story. Um, but it was lovely. So she's obviously, as I said, getting out into the fresh air. Um, she seems to have a lot of um, support from friends. She seemed a little bit more outgoing. She seemed a little bit more confident, not so as nervous, you know, as she was in the last video. She looked really, really well. And she was very, very busy. I'd say she was back and forth like a fiddler's elbow, um, getting the stuff, moving it, arranging a room. And she's really, you know, getting there, probably having a sort out because, you know, you have to have a sort out, don't you, when you move. I mean, isn't it surprising how much stuff you get? But uh, she really has uh, worked hard and things are really coming together for her. So I was really, really pleased and I'm really looking forward to um, watching the next video. I hope that she does something a bit more arty-farty, you know, something about her artwork because it really does mean a lot to her. And she's hoping, isn't she, to uh, make a little bit of a business with it. So it would be nice to have a look at the materials perhaps that she uses, what sort of art that she's interested in. You know, perhaps she could, you know, that they... they to draw pictures and then they do like they make it quicker and so you get to see in quite a, in a short period of time the start the middle and the finish that would be nice but anyway yeah she was looking really really well and I was ever so pleased it really cheered me up you know after all this foodie beauty nonsense it gets you down doesn't it all that negativity so you need a little bit of something to brighten your life anyway yeah it was lovely to see her and to see her surrounded by people who care about her you know, and put her first and, you know, help her instead of her always having to give. It's nice that she's having something given to her now. Do you know what I mean? And like I say, she seemed ever so cheery and ever so happy. I'm sorry a bit croaky in this um, video. I was full of cold and it's starting to work its way out. I wish it'd hurry up though. I hate sounding like bleed. I sound like Barry White, don't I? Anyway, I'll speak to you soon. Take care of yourselves. I love you loads, you know. See you later. Bye.